Welcome to our lecture online. And now for something a little bit more challenging. Problem number nine on the JE Advanced Test from 2021 on shift one. And it deals with equipotential circles. So here we have a situation where we have two charges, negative Q and Q over the square root of three. They're two meters apart. And we're going to have a circle in the plane where the potential is equal to zero. So let's read the problem. It says that two point charges minus Q and plus Q over the square root of three are placed in the XY plane at the origin and at a point two zero respectively, as shown in the figure. This results in an equipotential circle of radius R and potential V equals zero in the XY plane with its center at C zero. All lengths are measured in meters. And for this problem, we're supposed to find the radius of that circle. So what we're going to do here is use the principle that the potential is equal to k times q divided by r. Now notice we're going to have a negative potential due to this charge and a positive potential due to those. And when we add them together, they should add up to zero. So the magnitudes of the potential created by this charge and this charge anywhere along the circle well, the magnitude of that should equal zero. They should cancel each other out. So the magnitude of, of the two should be equal to one another all the way along the circle. So if we call the distance from the edge of the circle to the point where the charge is A, and then this distance from there to there, that would be two minus A, we can then use those distances. So that would be A right here. And this would be two minus A right there, because the distance here is two. Then we can figure, we can set those potentials equal to each other. So we can say V1 equals V2, or in this case is going to be K times Q divided by the distance, which is two minus A, is going to be equal to, uh, that would be uh, K times Q divided by the square root of three times A. And then notice that K and Q cancel on both sides. So this is one over. And then when we do the cross multiplication, we can say that the square root of three times A is equal to two minus A. We can move the A across, so we can say that the square root of three, A plus A equals two, or A times the square root of three plus one equals two, or A equals two divided by the square root of three, oop, too far here, the square root of three plus one. So now we have the value for A. We can do the same thing on the other side. We can do the same thing over here and call this distance B. And then this whole distance from there to there, we can say that's two plus B. So because that would be B, oh, B, oh, I went a little too far right there. So that would be B. This is two, so that would be two plus B. So we just had a visitor, so the dogs get a little excited here. All right, so now we have V1 equals V2 for the second point on the other side. And so we can say that KQ divided by the distance, which would be two plus B, is equal to KQ over the square root of three, and that would be times B, because the distance from there to there is simply B. Again, KQ cancel out, that becomes one and one. Cross multiply, we get the square root of three times b is equal to two plus b, or we have the square root of three b minus b equals two, or b times the square root of three minus one equals two, or b equals two divided by the square root of three minus one. All right, we're almost there because now next we realize that the diameter of the circle is simply going to be a plus b. So we have the diameter, which is equal to a plus b, which is going to be equal to two divided by the square root of three plus one plus two divided by the square root of three minus one. And of course, what we can do here is we can multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of three minus one, the square root of three minus one, and here we're going to multiply times the square root of three plus one and times the square root of three plus one like this to find the common denominator. And so when we do that, in the numerator, we get two times the square root of three plus, oh, not plus, but minus two, minus two, like this. And here we get 
plus 2 times the square root of 3 plus 2, all divided by, and when we multiply those out, we get 3 minus 1. And if we simplify that, the minus 2 and plus 2 cancel out, so in the numerator we get 4 times the square root of 3 divided by 2, or we get 2 times the square root of 3. Now remember, that is the diameter. Since the radiuses have the diameter, uh, let me do it over here so you can see the whole thing. So the radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2. So the radius is equal to the square root of 3. Uh, 2 times the square root of 3 divided by 2, which is equal to the square root of 3. So therefore, the radius is equal to 1.732. I think they wanted, I think the instructions were to only have two decimal places. So that means 1.73 meters is the radius of that equipotential circle. And that is how it's done.